Welcome to Dharma Drum Mountain, a world center for Buddhist education that strives to protect the spiritual environment, uplift the character of humanity, and build a pure land on earth. Please join us on a tour of this spiritual homeland. The center sits on a mountainside near Jinshan Township in northern Taiwan. At the entrance to the center is the DDM Emblem Rock. This is both a sign for visitors and a spiritual guidepost for our members. Following the double-face Guanyin Road, the mountains around the center come into view. On the right side, they resemble Guanyin absorbed in meditation, while on the left, Guan Yin speaking the Dharma. They symbolize the center's mission of promoting Chan practice and education. Past the main parking lot, we come to the welcoming Guan Yin Park, located to the side of the Falun Bridge. Like a beneficent mother, the welcoming Guan Yin statue extends a loving greeting to all. At this point, visitors can take either the Lin Shi path or continue along the road to the center's main entrance. A plaque above the main entrance reads Guanyin Practice Center, informing visitors that this is an education center and monastery dedicated to spiritual cultivation, receiving everyone in the spirit of Guanyin Bodhisattva's great compassion. The Dharma Drum Mountain Complex is encircled by two streams, Taoyuan Creek and Fayin Creek. They are tributaries of the Shishi River that flows down to Jinshan. These gurgling streams are an important part of the center's natural scenery and also provide pleasant background music for activities. Here we can see Fayin Road following Fayin Creek. Passing through the main entrance, First, we see the center's temporary building, which served as the hub for reception activities and spiritual practices for 16 years. Lotus Bell Park is located nearby. The Lotus Bell seen here is engraved with more than 70,000 characters of the Lotus Sutra and the Great Compassion Mantra. Also engraved is the Many Jeweled Pagoda with two Buddhas sitting together these were chosen to reflect the spirit of Guanyin and Mahayana Buddhism's Bodhisattva path. Continuing along Fayin Road, we see the monks' quarters, which provide living accommodations for male Sangha members. Next, we turn off Fayin Road onto Shuanghuan Road and arrive at Building 2. The tunnel here serves as the center's bus terminal. Visitors and pilgrims may also reach Building 2 by taking the wish-fulfilling path. Building 2 serves as a reception hall for all visitors to the center. Information services, displays of Buddhist cultural artifacts, and refreshments are provided here. On the second level, there is a reception room a briefing room, and exhibition rooms. The audio-visual displays and multimedia presentations here help the center's visitors gain an understanding of Dharma Drum Mountain. On this level, there's a Dharma shop which sells the center's publications and other items in promotion of the ideal of protecting the spiritual environment. On the third level, we come to the wish-fulfilling Guanyin Hall. Outside hangs a plaque which reads, Contemplating the world at ease. This fits nicely with the wish-fulfilling Guanyin statue inside. Nearby is a calm pool, and beyond this is the hall's main entrance, the plaque above reads, The Rising Great Compassion. 
Located in the hall is a statue of Guan Yin, who is always ready to come to the aid of suffering sentient beings. The wish fulfilling Guan Yin was named by Master Sheng Yan and crafted in the Tang Dynasty style. The left hand holds a purification vase, while the right hand reveals she's speaking the Dharma. Hearing people's calls for help, she compassionately sprinkles ambrosial dew to relieve them of their troubles. A pottery block print entitled A Pure Land on Earth hangs inside Guanyin Hall. It was created by the artist Lian Baozai and depicts a pure land with Dharma Drum Mountain in the background where all religions and all beings can live together in peace. A wooden plaque hangs in the hall, which reads, Entering the stream where objects are renounced, referring to the Guanyin method of complete penetration through the sense of hearing. The center hopes visitors will feel a sense of calm upon entering the hall, and use their sense of hearing to listen to sounds without being disturbed by them. On the fourth and fifth levels, we find the center's dining halls. Besides providing a place for meals, they also serve as lecture facilities, conference rooms, and places for spiritual practice. From the wish-fulfilling Guanyin Hall, visitors can proceed to the Founding History Memorial Hall on the third level of Building One. Here are displayed documents and cultural artifacts the center has collected, showing Dharma Drum Mountain's gratitude to all of its long-term supporters. This hall is divided into various exhibition areas. Among them, search for the source and generate vows, Dharma transmission, our Shurfu, and the Hall of Merit. The Auxiliary Hall on the fourth level can seat 400 and also serves as the second auditorium. In praise of Dharma Drum Mountain, created by the famous painter and professor Li Bing, adorns the wall inside this hall. Li based his work on Master Sheng Yin's compassionate vows, the process of his spiritual cultivation, and his travels while teaching the Dharma. This oil painting impressively reflects the mission and vision of Dharma Drum Mountain. The fifth level serves as a multi-purpose space for the center's activities, 